Oh, we got a swan. How you doing? Take it out, please. What's it feel like? Tell people. Oh, that's the only bit. That's a pretty good one. Shelly had to pull a cactus out of my butt at Joshua Tree, so I owed her one. How's it going, everybody? Mason and Shelly here with Just a Drift, and today we are in Big Bend National Park. So we are here, or at least as far as we can go, uh, at the Bokias Crossing, which is, I think, such a unique thing that they have here at Big Ben. You can actually drive up, drive through a port of entry, park, jump on a paddle boat. Show your boat. papers. Well, you show your show passport. Your passport. Yep. To border control. You show your passport to border control. Jump on a boat. It's five bucks. Somebody will row you across the Rio Grande. It's another five bucks to jump on the back of a horse or a mule. Or you can just walk to the to the small village of Bocilius and go check out what they have at this little village in Mexico. Not sure if you can see it. This. We're so can close. See the port of entry. And then you can also see the little the village city. over there. And we just went and checked out the overlook, overlooking the uh, the Boquillas Canyon, and then down into the Rio Grande. Anyways, we are wrapping up our day here at Big Bend. It has been so beautiful. Unfortunately. There's been quite a bit that's been closed, hasn't there? Yeah, a lot of the, like the main road that takes you through is open, but a lot of the turnoffs, a lot of the hikes uh, are closed. So our original plans didn't quite work out, but we still made the best of it. And we saw a lot of cool things today. And it's gorgeous even just driving through. Definitely gorgeous driving through this. I mean, what I think it's 800,000 acres they have. So the only thing left on our agenda tonight, beyond getting some dinner, Marfa Light. is to check out the Marfa Lights. <laughs> I won't sleep through it this time. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go see the sunset. We are here at the Marfa Lights viewing area. It is about 10.30 at night and 
we are hoping to see some crazy lights. There's a ton of people here, which I don't know what I was expecting, but I was kind of surprised because we've literally not seen anyone all day. The moon is really bright, so hopefully that doesn't matter. There is a lot of speculation about what causes the Marfa lights, uh, whether it's some sort of chemical reaction, whether it's distant lights. I have no idea. They have no idea whether it's a UFO, which is my favorite theory. Of course, it's everybody's favorite theory. It looks like, you know, white orbs, yellow orbs, and it looks like they may shoot horizontally, you know, across the, the desert some floor. some out there. <laughs> it very well could be Running that would... around with some light sticks. <laughs> just glow sticking? It, They're a lot smaller to me. It seems like it could be a, like somebody out in the country. Yeah. I don't know. It could be reflections of some sort, but it's weird that it's only happening, you know, here. I don't know what to think, but I did see the lights moving in weird motions where it looked like they moved across and then diagonally down and then a flat across again and then directly up and then diagonal so i don't know but i'm pretty hungry it's 11:36 right now i should just go straight to bed oh man just got done knocking down some eggs and some hash browns from diner. I'm so tired. We ate there twice today. Yeah, it was good both times. Had the same thing. Yeah, so that's it for us. We had a crazy awesome day. So it is definitely time for bed. It is 15 minutes till 1. It's really late for us. This is way <laughs> later than we ever <laughs> stay up. But we will see you guys later. And by the way, if you have watched this video all the way to the end, Please like and subscribe this video and check out our next video, not tomorrow, but the next day. See ya.